What makes this particular study very special, besides the rapid improvement in a short duration in regards to the outcome of fatigue, energy, strength, grip strength, walking distance, so on and so forth, including uh, basically some endothelial functions uh, in reference to blood flow and dilation. But what makes this extremely intriguing, we're not looking at necessarily disease mitigation, as I said earlier, where they have like viruses and bacteria and how to combat them. We are looking primarily at recovery. Now, let's look at this one excerpt, and this explains quite a bit. Look at the two groups. You have two groups of individuals. You have one group taking 1.66 grams of L-arginine accompanied by 500 milligrams of liposomal vitamin C in a vial, a liquid vial, twice per day. And you have one group consuming a placebo. For those not familiar, you used to refer to it as like a sugar tablet or sugar pill. Look at the difference in the outcome. And I want to go by percentages more than the actual numerical itself, where you see two and you see 21 or whatever it is. But from the line, you see basically after 28 days, you have to keep in mind the short duration of 28 days, less than a month, of consuming 1.66 grams of L-arginine and 500 milligrams of liposomal vitamin C, only 8.7% of that group was still experienced fatigue. Now, this test group is all individuals that basically were confirmed with long COVID. So only less than 10% compared to the placebo group. The placebo group, 80.1%. That is that's phenomenal. Look at the difference. That is statistically significant. And for those feeling sluggish, work with your healthcare provider or medical practitioner. This study will be quite enlightening. Now, let's bring up a few of the uh, box and whisker charts and box plots for those not familiar. You're going to be looking at a line in the middle here. The line in the middle here is going to be basically your average outcome per se. So we're looking at right there, the first one. Let me bring it up to make sure I have the right one up for you. All right, first one, basically we're looking at walking distance. Now, you have to keep in mind, this is 28 days. The placebo group, which was not taken the L-arginine and vitamin C, experienced Zero positive outcomes. In fact, if you look at the dots, you have one guy which was sprinting ahead, you know, the outlier, but overall, a lot of them went backwards. So you had a net gain of zero in the placebo group. The group consuming that combination, L-arginine and liposomal vitamin C, 30 meter increase. Now, those familiar with six minute walking distance, uh, time trials or whatever, uh, 30 meters is quite significant. To bring up the next chart real fast, we're looking at grip strength, and we're going to look at the abstract in a second, then I'll give you more of a numerical perspective in reference to this. Look at that. That's phenomenal. Grip strength was just way above board in regard to that. And grip strength is a very powerful indicator in future health outcomes, for those not familiar as well. And there's the other one we're looking at, basically, is flow-mediated dial dilation, 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 and... You're looking at basically the elasticity of the circulatory system and so on and so forth. So think of like a hose, more pressure goes in. How well do those blood vessels dilate? Look at the lines and keep in mind, that's your average, your, your mean, um, or sometimes mode, depending on what, how they're going to basically uh, categorize it. But you look at that and your box and whisker plot. That's a significant difference in basically the blood flow itself, which is incredible, just after 28 days of doing nothing different besides 1.66 grams of L-arginine and 500 milligrams of liposomal vitamin C. So let's get them to go right through the abstract itself. Um, it was worded quite concisely. And so I'm not gonna change anything. I'm just gonna narrate it kind of like a news article uh, per se, a good news article, not like the, co the news that's out there today, but you know what I mean, I'm not gonna digress. Perceived. Effects of L-arginine plus vitamin C supplementation on physical performance and endothelial, endothelial, endothelial function and persistent fatigue in adults with long COVID. This was a single blind randomized controlled trial. As you delve into the research in regard to limitations, you know, why is it single blind? For those not familiar, what single blind means is the researchers knew who was taking what and the participants didn't know if they were taking the sugar solution or they were taking the l-arginine vitamin c solution so the participants didn't know and you could have 
some corruption in a study on a single blind study if the researchers know that. You know, sometimes they may talk nicer to the people. They know who are getting whatever it is. But as you delve into the limitation of the study, the reason they had a single blind as opposed to a double blind, for those not familiar with the researchers as well as the participants don't know who's taking what, is because being kind of an uh, initial trial, they were concerned about safety and of the consumption to make sure there are no adverse effects. So think of it like a pilot study. But that was the reason why it was out of concern for the patients first. So they're recommending a double blind later on. But again, get on target. The abstract. I'm going to read kind of fast in certain parts and kind of slow as we head towards the more uh, highlighted areas I'd like to bring to your attention. Long COVID, a condition characterized by symptom and or a sign of persistence following an acute COVID-19 episode is associated with reduced physical performance and endothelial, endothelial, endothelial dysfunction. Supplementation of L-arginine may improve endothelial and muscle function by stimulating nitric oxide synthesis. Now, nitric oxide, you both of you, the, those that have been with me from the beginning of this thing many years ago, recognize that nitric oxide is always surfaced in many, many research articles. But again, we want to keep it in context to reduction of fatigue, improving energy of those that basically are recovering to proceed. A single blind randomized placebo controlled trial was conducted in adults aged between 20 and 60 years with persistent fatigue attending a post-acute COVID-19 outpatient clinic. Participants were randomized, we're going to go faster, one-to-one -to, -one, to receive twice daily orally, either a combination of, as we discussed earlier, to reiterate, 1.66 grams of L-arginine and plus, I should say, 500 milligrams of liposomal vitamin C, fat soluble or placebo for 28 days. The primary outcome was the distance to walk on a six minute walk test. Secondary outcomes were hand grip strength, flow mediated, dilation, and fatigue persistence. 50 participants were randomized receiving the L-arginine plus vitamin C or placebo. 46 participants, medium interquartile, that's remember the box and whisker chart, uh, age, da 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 da. At 20 days, L-arginine plus vitamin C increased the six minute walk distance by 30 meters. That's significant compared to zero in the placebo group and induced greater improvement in hand grip strength. This one really got me because the difference is just phenomenal. 3.4 compared to one kilogram. And then the flow mediated dilation was greater in the active group than the placebo by 14.3%. Now, even though nitric oxide plays a huge role, 14.3% at 28 days. So you're looking basically pretty, pretty much um, a percentage every two days improvement. That's incredible to proceed versus 9.4. At 20 days, fatigue was reported by, I should say, I don't want to use the word only because that forms like a bias, but it was only two participants in the active group, 8.7%, as we were reiterating, and 21 in the placebo group or 80.1%. That p-value... Uh, you know, not knowing the confidence interval, that p-value is just an incredible uh, validation. L-arginine plus vitamin C supplementation improved walking performance, muscle strength, endothelial function, and fatigue in adults with long COVID. The supplement may therefore be considered to restore physical performance and relieve persistent symptoms in this patient population. Now, we're going to go into the methodology itself because it's important to know what they took and how they took it. So... You got the one-to-one -one ratio to receive twice daily oral supplementation with either the combination of 1.66 grams of L-arginine plus 500 milligrams of liposodal vitamin C. Now, it's important to recognize the brand that they used in the study. Um, it doesn't seem like they're having any loyalty to it. There was no COI, conflict of interest, or funding from the company per se. And I wanted to look at that, and we'll look at that towards the end too as well, just to confirm the purity of the test itself. And um, basically reviles. And so they're liquid. So form can play a role too. So I want to make sure we keep everything within context of how this test was administered. Now, I want to show you the ingredients. It's not a promo for any company, but just to give you an idea per se, you see right there at the side, you see the ingredients. Now, again, uh, I'm just showing you what the product had in it, uh, whether improvements or compliments in regard to what the product is, is your prerogative but it's important to show you everything in context of that, just in case there may some, be some sort of confounding or improvements uh, beyond just the observation itself. 
I know it's boring and dry, but it's vital that we keep everything as close to the study parameters as possible, just in case there's something there that we didn't see before, or there's something better per se to proceed. So that's what you got with that. Now we're going to go to the conclusion. Are you ready? Here we go. Conclusion. L-arginine plus vitamin C supplementation improved exercise capacity, muscle strength, endothelial function, and fatigue in adults with long COVID. The combination of L-arginine plus vitamin C may therefore, may is a big word because it means it has to be confirmed because they do recognize the limitations of a single blinded study. May be proposed as a remedy, their words, not mine. We're just reading straight from the study itself to restore physical performance and relieve persistent symptoms in people with long COVID, i.e. recover. Now, it's important for researchers out there because we're always looking for confounding biases or anything that can interfere. The COI is reported, as you can see down below, and the funding, as you can see, is pretty pure in regard to the study itself. And the study involved quite a few individuals in reference to this particular outcome. So it's pretty amazing. So in short, we are looking at now, it doesn't mean more or less may not be better or not. We're sticking with the outcome itself in regard to the study. 1.66 grams of L-arginine, according to the box, it didn't say whether it was a hydrochloride or free form, so it's meant to be expe uh, explored earlier or further. Liposomal vitamin C, yeah, it, it basically showed uh, some uh, soy fats or less than associated with it. Uh, there could be ascorbic palmitates and things like that, which could basically add some compound co compounding, compounding, confounding, but it looks like ascorbic acid itself mixed in with something else uh and outside of that it's an incredible incredible study and you have to give gratitude to the researchers itself this is a pathway potential pathway to helping individuals recover from these long persistent symptoms that just want to feel better and that's where the study comes from or heads to which gives a unique perspective well, everyone's looking for this and that in reference to disease mitigation. These individuals say, hey, what about these people? Let's give them a hand and help them. Let's get them past this fatigue and help them feel better. That's what they're shooting for. And that outcome in regard to this small study looks very, very promising. Links will be there on the YouTube channel, just in case. I can't put it on TikTok and things like that, but it'll be there on reference to the study itself. And gratitude for listening and the best we can do is hope this helps as many people as possible. Pretty simple, pretty neat, pretty effective, works pretty fast. So pretty cool, work with the healthcare professional. Again, it's great, but if other people are taking medications and things like that, you know, the more people that can help, sometimes the better. All right, catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.